Okay, this is going to be the movie review of Iron Man 2 that uh, comes out to theaters in the States and, uh, on Friday. And uh, I, I had a little bit of beef with it. And I don't know. I... Mm, I gotta give it thumbs down. It's kind of stupid. If I had a choice between seeing Iron Man 2 and a uh, kick-ass movie, I would see kick-ass again. Um, yeah, I'm going to give a little bit of spoiler spoilers in this. and uh, So you can take them for what they're worth, and if you want to still go see it, go see it. But, uh, yeah, there was, you know, a l tons of lame parts in the movie. And, you know, all the movies seem to be now is, like, the main part of the movie is fucking trying to promote the next movie. And, yeah, it was kind of weak acting. Um... fucking the plot was kind of stupid uh, there was tons of lame parts whiplash always one is fucking stupid ass bird um, I mean in the, in the previews in the previews it looks like a kick-ass movie it looks like it's gonna be real good but then when you actually watch it you're like yeah that was pretty fucking kind of stupid the part on the racetrack, Whiplash comes around and fucking smashes uh, Tony Stark's car. And, uh, the whole movie's like, Tony Stark is an asshole, and he has to act like an asshole the whole fucking time, and he's got this personality of an asshole. And, you, and it's just like people running around to babysit him the whole fucking time. And the, for the fight scene at the, on the racetrack was fucking kind of stupid, you know? Even that, like, it was just stupid. Uh, you know, it's like he's taking his time. And instead of, like, dealing with the problem, he's, like, taking his time trying to be macho and shit. Uh, what else? It was fucking stupid. He just decides to destroy his whole fucking house and have a big party and fucking just go ape shit. And hey, I'm fucking Iron Man, and I'm going to destroy my own home. Yeah, real fucking smart. Um, and then, ooh, War Machine. <laughs> it's just fucking stupid. They put Gatling guns on it. I mean, <laughs> so the guy steals War Machine from Tony Stark because Tony can't be uh, responsible enough to uh, keep it himself because he's destroying his fucking home with it for no apparent reason just cause he wants to get shit face drunk and destroy his own home so the guy steals fucking war machine and then he's like let's really soup it up <laughs> and the guy's like alright this other guy with all the weapons supposedly he comes out and he's like, we could put this on it. And like, he comes out with like a 9mm machine gun. Like a regular machine gun. And then he's like, hey, or here, you could hold a shotgun with it. And I was like, eh, no, no, those would be. Or the guy is like, yeah, I'll take them all. And the guy's like, oh, you'll take them all? You'll take all the weapons? <gasps> like it's supposed to be some big fucking deal or something. And yeah, they put a Gatling gun up on top of War Machine. Whoop the fucking do. And the big deal that he's supposed to equip it with is some fucking, like, little projectile that's supposed to, you know, be like a little mini nuke or something. <laughs> and he shoots it at Whiplash and fucking it just bounces off him. It's like, really? <laughs> And it's supposed to be like a big laugh in the theater and shit. It's, but, I mean, 
Really? <laughs> the guy's like, I got something for him. I got something special for him. And then he shoots out this little fucking dart that just bounces off him. And it's like, well, why'd you make such a big deal out of it if the fucking thing obviously just sucks? And, yeah, the fucking storyline was, like, predictable. It's like, oh, they capture Whiplash, and... But you can't keep that guy down because he'll just fucking hang you from the ceiling. Whatever. And then, you know... It really wasn't much to this story. It was a couple action sequences, and then when you think it's gonna build up to some big finale or something, it doesn't. It's just, like, a little battle that's, like, over in, like, two minutes. I'm like, what the fuck? And then you got, uh, Nick Fury, Samuel L. Jackson, saying... Tony Stark, you, you're just too irresponsible, and you, you just can't be part of the Avengers. You're just too, uh, you're just too crazy, man. It was, I don't know, man, it's fucking, like, it's building up to this, the Avengers movie or whatever. But, uh, I mean, it got, it's fucking, it gets boring after, like, Two minutes of fucking seeing the same shit of Tony just being some asshole and everybody else trying to like talk reason to him <laughs> and uh yeah and then at the end they fucking make a big deal of finding Thor which is, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, really? Does, I mean, is that what makes the movies now? Is just building up to the next movie by showing a little snippet of something? And it's like, oh, we found him. And then it just shows a little hammer sitting in the fucking dirt. Which is supposed to be Thor's hammer, I know. But, uh,. You know, I mean, what, they couldn't show fucking Thor? All they... <laughs> they have to be such a little... They have to just drag you on for this little tiny snippet just to get you tempted to go see the next one that... And Thor's hammer looks stupid, by the way. <laughs> yeah, the thing could have been a fucking kick-ass hammer... But it doesn't look that kick ass. It just looks like a little fucking. I don't know. A little stupid hammer. I mean, if you're gonna make it for a movie, make it a fucking kick ass hammer. And they're probably not gonna have the same hammer for the, uh. for the Avengers movie or whatever. Yeah, that's, uh, pretty much Iron Man 2. I think the first Iron Man was a lot better than the second one. And, yeah, if you're going to the movies, I recommend, if you have the option between going to see Kick-Ass and Iron Man 2, I would go see Kick-Ass. Uh, 